In this video I'm going to show you how to use 20 HDR Photoshop Actions. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this photo here as an example for demonstration. So I'm going to create from this photo this effect. Okay, so uh, what these actions do is they are creating the HDR effect from your photos and they are adding a color look. So there are uh, 20 uh, different uh, color looks that you can choose from. Okay, and you can also combine a few color looks to create uh, even more. And uh, there are lots of options for customizing uh, the results. So let me just show you a few more examples that he made using this action. Okay, so these are the before and after images. Okay, that's it. Let's get back to our photo. So I'm just gonna close this window here. So when you, when you open up your photo, the first thing, uh, there are a couple of things that you should check to, to make sure that the action will run without 10 years, okay? So the first thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer, so it should be called a background and have this little lock icon. So if you, if you have something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new, and just choose a background from layer. And also click on this little arrow here and go to panel options and make sure you got this option here checked at add copy to copy layers and groups and go to the image mode and your photo should be in RGB color mode at with candle and also check the image size so resolution can be anywhere between 72 and 300 ppi and for the image size your photo should be at least 1500 pixels wide or high okay and uh, for best results use photos that are about from uh, 2,200 to 4,500 pixels wider high, okay? So this range, uh, this size is in, in the range, so just gonna click OK. And uh, to load the action, go to Window, Actions. Click on this little arrow here, Load Actions. And just choose the action that can be downloaded. And you'll find uh, uh, two folders here, so you, you just need to choose the action uh, according to your Photoshop version. So this Photoshop is CS6, so I'm just going to use uh, this uh, this action here, so just expand this, and you can see what we got here. Uh, there are 20 different color looks, so each of these actions creates HDR effect and a different color look. And uh, so, uh, if you if you wish to uh, to immediately to to get all the color looks, okay, at once. So what you can do is you can play this action here, all color looks. So it will automatically create all these color looks. And uh, sometimes e it's easier uh, to, when you have all core looks ready, to just pick one that goes the best to your photo. And also, if you wish to combine uh, them, it's the best to use uh, this action here. So all you have to do is to select the action and click play. So I'm just gonna play all color looks, and I'm going to fasten the video here, and uh, I'm going to get back to as as soon as the action has finished. Okay, so the action has just finished, so I'm just gonna close the actions panel. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hold Control and Alt buttons for PC or hold uh, Command Option for a Mac. And while this group is selected, it will be automatically selected by the action. Just click on the little arrow here. So to make sure that uh, all folders are closed because it will be much easier to work with the layers. So this is the HDR folder and you got a color looks here. They are all turned off uh, by default, okay? So when I turn off and on uh, this group, nothing, you will see no difference. Okay, so let's first customize the HDR effect that we got here. Let's expand this. So let's start from here. Uh, here we got the HDR effect layer. So this is actually the main uh, layer for creating the HDR effect. And uh, what you can customize here is you can play with this opacity. Okay, so you can just click with the word opacity and drag it aside. Gonna set something like this, or you can also double click on the, the Gaussian blur here and experiment with a different uh, radius amount. Okay, just gonna use default one. Uh, and uh, here we got the add depth layer. Okay, and how custom this layer is you just click on the word opacity and also just drag into a side. Okay, and set something like this. And this is the overall contrast. Okay, and also just click with the word opacity and just drag it aside. 
and this is very sensitive as you can see so just gonna set some delay this okay and uh, this is the overall vibrance and saturation so what you have to do is just double click here and you can you can change the vibrance or the saturation okay and uh, I'm going to increase the the vibrance and uh, so a little bit of saturation like this okay and uh, this is the overall sharpening folder so when I turn it off and on you see no changes because uh, all these layers are turned off by default so all you have to do now is uh, to select the, uh, the layer that you like uh, all these layers create different uh, sharpening effects this one will sharpen the small details this one the medium and this one the large details so you can use all three of course so all you have to do is to select the layer and just turn it on and you can then play with the opacity okay just like this and I'm just gonna use the small details just zoom in a little bit and uh, uh, the large details okay that's like that and you see that all these layers has a layer mask so what you can do is select the layer mask and pick a brush tool just pick some salt brush and set foreground color to black you can just brush over the areas where you wish to remove the sharpen okay just like that or if you wish to remove any of these sharpening effects then select this main uh, layer mask of the folder and then you'll remove any sharpening effects that that you have okay on the places where you brush black so let's go to the color looks so as you can see uh, here we got a 20 color looks and uh, that you can choose from all you have to do is just to select uh, any of those and just turn it on see how it looks if you don't like it simply try with another just like this okay and uh, what you can also do you can for example you turn on this one lower it's a past little bit and then turn on this one okay so you can combine them and create a lot more different uh, color rooks and uh, I'm going to use this one here okay and uh, let's just quickly check the before and after so from this photo created this okay so I hope you understood everything and uh, thanks for watching